What are your plans after high school? Should we go in our uh, well, I still don't know where I'm going to college. I still have like four days to decide. Nice. So. Four days. Um, Josie. I'm going to UTC and I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> after that. Maddie's going Going to tech. Don't know what I'm majoring in. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what I'm majoring in or what I want to do with my life. Um, I'm going to UTK. I'm going to major in kinesiology with a minor in nutrition. Going to Baylor University and majoring in finance. I'm going to UTSU, don't know what I'm majoring yet. I'm going to the Coast Guard Academy, majoring in environmental science. Get money. Just do it later. Big one. Yeah, um, get money and swag. Uh, college? Uh, college, yeah. <laughs> I go to Bama. But... I'm university. But I go to Bama. Tech college. Roll awesome. time. Do you guys know what you want to do? I already said get money. I mean, that's, that's basically <laughs> my goal. Yeah. What are you going to major in? <laughs> graduate's a good one. Chemistry. Try to get through it. Alive. UTK. Um, majoring in psychology. I'm going to UTK and I'm on the exploratory track, which is a nice way of saying I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to Maryville and I also don't know. I'm going to the University of South Carolina and I put sociology, kind of like you did with psychology. But... Okay. Um, I'm going to be a preschool teacher. I'm going to do occupational therapy at UT. <laughs> I'm going to UTC and I'm going to major in psychology. Um, I'm going to be attending Tech, good old Cookville. Uh, I should be attending National State of Health State. Well, I'm going to go to Tech, do pre-PT, and then hopefully after that go to Chattanooga to get my doctorate in physical therapy. I'm going to go to Tech to be a special ed teacher. Go to University of Tennessee Chattanooga to major in business. Going to the University to study exercise science. Go to Tennessee Tech for mechanical engineering. Um, I plan on being an electrical engineer and I'll be looking into some programming and otherwise for minor uh, looking at music or psychology. Uh, I'm going to Tennessee Tech. I don't know my major yet. I'm going to UTC. I'm also undeclared. <laughs> I'm going to Johnson University and I'm majoring in counseling. Okay. Well, your girl is going to major in biomedical engineering at UTK, ball for life, <laughs> and I'm going to get lit and be in a sorority. <laughs> I am going to get lit. Filming in Okay. All right, Josie? I'm going to Georgia, I think. <laughs> and I, that's it, that's all I know, pretty much. Um, well, I've been told anyone where I'm going to college yet. I plan on going to Tennessee Tech and getting a degree in criminal justice. Uh, I'm going to go to the University of Tennessee and major in health sciences. I am going to Free Hardman University to play volleyball. And I'm probably going to major in speech pathology. I am going to UT Knoxville and I'm going to major in kinesiology. I'm going to go to tech and major in nutrition. And I'm going to tech and I'm in business right now because I don't really know what I want to do. Find a job. Find a job. Find, find a job. <laughs> uh, I'm going to MTSU for audio engineering. Go for it. Going to tech to study something in business. <laughs> something in business. Um, I'm going to Tennessee Tech and I'm going to major in chemistry. I'm going to Tennessee Tech and I'm majoring in biology and health sciences. I'm going to Tennessee Tech and I'm majoring in free farm. I'll be attending Free Harmon University to play baseball and I'll be majoring in nursing. Uh, I'll be attending Carson Newman University to play baseball and I'll be a uh, business major. I'll be attending Bryan College um, and I'll be playing baseball there and I'll never play my major yet. Uh, I'm going to play baseball at uh, Sewanee and major in chemistry. I'm going to attend National State and major in Vermont. I'll be attending Tennessee Tech and major in nursing. So I'm going to University of Alabama and I'm going to study chemistry. I'm going to the University of Tennessee and studying molecular biology. I'm playing softball at Bryan College. I'm going to major in exercise and health systems. And I'm playing softball at UTC and I'm ma majoring in nursing. After high school, I uh, start majoring in industrial engineering. I will start my university in uh, September, but right after high school, I will have to study for my test. Uh, 
Okay, right after school, I'm going to college in Brazil. I'm going to study medicine. I am going to Montana State University and studying environmental science. I'm going to Barry College in finance and accounting, probably, but I don't know. Um, I am going to UTC, but I'm going undecided. I'm going to Lee University to double major in intercultural studies and teaching English as a second language. I'm going to ETSC to major in speech pathology. I'm going to and my majors are the same. I'm going to College Park. I'm going to uh, I'm going to TTU, Go Golden Eagles, and I'm uh, majoring in journalism. And I'm going to write a bunch of cool papers and stuff. Um, I'm going to the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, and I am studying communications and public administration. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Sweden and uh, go into engineering probably at the University of Stockholm. Plan on playing basketball at the University of Northwestern in St. Paul. I'm majoring in pre med. I'm going to tech and I'm majoring in physics. I'm going to ETSU and I'm majoring in pre med. Um, I will be attending at University of Tennessee's Knoxville and I will be majoring, majoring in pre med. I'm also going to go to uh, the University of Tennessee in Knoxville and I'm going to major in chemical engineering. Um, I plan on going to Tech this fall and majoring in nursing to become an obstetric nurse. Ooh. I'm going to Lipscomb to um, do something. <laughs> um, I'm going to UT Knoxville to also do something. I'm going to attend the University of Alabama and major in journalism, like broadcasting journalism and minoring in political science. And I'm going to go to TTU and I'm going to major in criminal justice and Minor in political science. Uh, probably tag for chemical engineering, you know, do a little move physics up there, share the knowledge. I'm going to tag also for a physician's assistant. Um, I'm going to tag, um, I think I'm going into education. Oh god, I wore suspenders my freshman year <laughs> with like Converse and my band camp shirt every Friday. It was so bad. Oh, Plaid shorts. Berries. <laughs> Solid color shirts. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> T-shirt, usually football, jeans, and Nike Air Maxes, which is basically what I wear now still. T typical freshman year outfit. Yoga skirt and um, chocos. Holster <laughs> graphic tee. <laughs> yeah. Did we wear those freshman year? Though? Yes. No, that was, I feel that like was eighth grade. Really I wore Ugg boots and leggings like, and a party. <laughs> Probably what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> um, a frilly shirt with flowers on it and jeans. Like a tank top and a cardigan. I was, yeah, like, I was, say, I would, like hairspray my hair like really hard. Do you remember that? <laughs> I would like wake up at 4 a.m. to do that. Oh, I, oh god, I used to wear these see-through shirts with bandos. I got dress coded like four times because <laughs> I wore see-through shirts. Okay, my typical. I don't even remember. Freshman year outfit, because I was still probably in like the Hollister phase. I got out of the Air Apostle phase. <laughs> so I still wore like Hollister like shirts and stuff, and pants that were way too tight for me, which I guess I still do. And Uggs, I wore a lot of Uggs. You still wear Uggs at 70 degree Shut weather. Up. Do you have a nickname? Super plain. Pro yeah. Not too different from that. Wear the shirt, most likely. Um, <laughs> Some type of gross capri. Like, like, print. The cuff is too like. big, you know, and then some type of ugly sample. I don't know. I feel like that's me. <laughs> yeah. I, was, yeah, I had this like dumb blue cardigan that has like holes in the armpits. I've been wearing it since then. I still do. I almost wore it today. <laughs> Glad I didn't. <laughs> that. Blue jeans and a t shirt. That was my typical freshman year outfit. Alright. T shirt and jeans. T-shirt, jeans, and chocos. <laughs> jeans, chocos, t-shirt. That's true for you. T-shirt every day. Uh, probably something... Hollister, American Eagle, Man Abercrombie. Eagle. Oh, uh, flat shirt and some vans. <laughs> flat shirt and some vans. Oh god. Probably... Probably just skinny jeans and like... I don't know. Just some t-shirt. I don't dress up. Never have. Flip flops, cargo <laughs> shorts, and a t shirt. <laughs> oh man. Um, a One Direction t shirt. 
with uh, colored pants and like ugly high tops. I also did the colored pants then a lot. You still do? I don't wear colored pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, T-shirt, jeans, not much different though. <laughs> T-shirts and shorts. I have these red skinny jeans that were like real skinny, like like, like might as well have been tights, and they literally just had fake zippers all over. I honestly think I remember that. I'm not kidding. Like, my hair was like down to here, but it was really like it was real edgy. It was kind of like tennis shoes. Like, Air Apostle T, you know, a headband, a headband. Um, freshman year. I tucked my shirt in a lot. Yeah, I was still like, just like a button up that was still tucked like, in. Um, Odd Future Wolf Gang shirt <laughs> and my black bands with some jeans or khakis. Um, well, you know the soccer pants, those skate sweatpants I wore those with Converse and a <laughs> t-shirt. Like, I guess cargo shorts. T-shirt uh, and yeah, button on yeah, the shoes. <laughs> the same thing I wear now. A lot of denim. A lot of denim. <laughs> Just jeans and jean jacket. Oh, and t-shirts. I had my hair skipped back like this. I never wore my hair down. That was rough. Yeah, curly hair freshman. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we didn't know how to wear hair. Sweatpants and a t-shirt. And I wore uniforms, khaki pants, <laughs> polo shirt, tucked in, no belt to get ISS. I wore like American Eagle V-Nex and cargo shorts. Hair and also, I used to, <laughs> during the soccer season, I would wear my uh, hair band I used to wear during soccer because my hair was really long. That was embarrassing. I wore flip flops, cargo shorts, and oh. a t shirt. Oh. I feel like I was more fashion in freshman year, and then <laughs> now I just don't care what I wear. <laughs> um, mine would be like a competition cheer t shirt oh. <laughs> with like bedazzled sandals. Okay, I dressed up so much for our freshman year. Like, I thought I always had to look good. So I'd wear, like, <laughs> I used to wear, like, just jeans and then a polo button up with, like, a strand of pearls every day. Like, jeans, polo, skirts. Gym shorts and a hoodie. Pretty much like a hoodie or, like, colorful shorts. <laughs> a skirt, flower headband, probably. That was seventh grade. <laughs> I still was not I think it I don't know. Some sort of flowered shirt with some polished colored pants. Color pants. Colored pants. Like what's colored earrings? V-necks. Uh, hair swoop. Oh yeah. Hearts hair to hair. hear. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sewn Forever 21 shirt. And jeans. <laughs> Probably like Air Apostle shirt and Tom's. Tom's. Oh, Tom's. Huge. Tom's. What is your biggest high school pet peeve? People that walk slow in the hallway. People making out up against the lockers when they turn, when they don't turn like the phone off and like a beeps constantly. Yeah, parents <laughs> dropping their kids off in the studio area. That too. Dip in the urinals. <laughs> yeah, dip, dip, dip in the urinals. <laughs> dip on the ceiling. Dip everywhere in the, dip bathroom. Everywhere in the bathroom. See you videos. <laughs> People recording me. Slow walkers in the school. Uh, I forgave him for it. He's excused. Only him. Kids, the act of the class. Yeah. Just be mature, okay? Be mature. People walking slow. Yeah. They're going to people class, and get slow. there, and then they cut you off. That's just annoying. Yeah, or people honking when they're driving out of the parking lot. That's what's <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Slow walkers. Get out of my freaking way. <laughs> and also, people in this parking lot. Just in general. It's Especially if you, leave, if you leave like right at school, like right at the end, and you just have to sit in traffic and people are just like, Ooh. Or yeah, the people that go up the wrong side of the stairs. <laughs> this video? The people that say they're just kidding when they're wrong. <laughs> people running through the hallways, that's the worst. People, uh, people stopping in the hallways and they're like walking really slowly and then really fast and then they stop to talk to their friends in the hallway. Mr. Ward on the announcements. Oh, oh my <laughs> Or people showing up to football games and not cheering. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. My the the administration sorry, during Sparta games. I, I hate oh, it when younger yeah. people sat in the front and they didn't move when. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, when people just stop in the hallway when you're walking. Uh, when people walk really slowly in the hallway. I hate when people touch my backpack. It's the worst. Like if they pull in your little backpack strings and gravity's already pulling me down anyways. People that walk slowly in the hallway. Or stopping, stopping in the no. hallways. No, no people that feel the need to kiss each other in the hallways. <laughs> like right before they have to park to go to different classes. I'm like, you're going to see each other in 25 minutes. Like, calm down. Oh, can I just list? Okay. Everybody in the parking lot. Lasers being brought to school, like especially during big rallies in the gym, like nobody wants that in their eyes, so quit pointing them. Like, geez. Walk, like everything that happens in the hallway. If you're holding hands in the hallway, do not walk in the middle. Like, we want to get past you, so quit blocking it with your big hand holding. Line. So, anyway, junior year, <laughs> junior year, I would go every morning and get my uh, history book out of my locker. And these two rednecks would just be beside my locker. His, the guy, he would lean his longboard against my locker, and they'd just be swapping spit, and I could hear them. And it was the nastiest thing, and it was every year. Why does all the puns, all the time? Slow walkers, for sure. Um, Tardies. <laughs> yeah. Tardies are annoying. <laughs> so we don't have them in Sweden. <laughs> yes, slow walkers. Okay, no, no. Biggest pet peeve are the uh, like parents that drop their kids off at the student parking lot. Yes, I, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. When people zip my backpack, <laughs> don't touch my backpack. I mean, I, I mine is when people are in your class and they've been in your class the whole year and they still don't know your name. <laughs> Walking in the hallway and then just stopping. You yes. have to like walk around them. I hate People that. like standing between the lockers and you like can't get through them. There's no way they don't move. When underclassmen skip on senior skip day, that's oh so God. annoying. Yes. When people like walk on the wrong side of the stairwell, even though it's far. Your worst high school memory. One time I fell down the stairs <laughs> and I like all the way down the stairs. I slid on her knee. And then I stood up and I was walking down the hallway and then like two seconds later is like the classic ketchup packet thing and then you just like fall back. <laughs> that happened. That was good. Okay. And probably meeting this guy. <laughs> uh freshman year, going upstairs to the top floor holding chocolate milk and sweet potato fries. I slipped. I scoped that chocolate milk all over me. That was a terrible moment. Mine was in uh yeah, all right. Nick Cruz called me a crowd and a bully and tried to fight me outside. Yes. Was throwing grapes no. and no, like various food items at Andrew. And then Nick got really and no, mad. And then, no, then Chandler had that peanut butter and jelly well, sandwich. Well, no, but Nick got, Nick got mad before that, too. Nick was just getting mad the entire okay, time. Okay, yeah, so Nick's building up. And then, um, and then Chandler takes half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich Coffee. at the lunch table, right? And he starts staring at Andrew, and he goes, Because hey. Nick, Nick started going, it's Chandler, stop throwing food! And Andrew's like, yeah, Chandler, stop throwing food! And Chandler just picks up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich goes, Andrew! And starts waving around. And then Nick picks up his water bottle, <laughs> and slams the, the sandwich and it out of all Chandler's hands. <laughs> yeah, out of Chandler's hands. And Chandler gets sandwich all over him. No, so uh, oh. this one time, me, Andre, uh, Will Fleming, Andrew Manley, Andrew, and Blake Knox, and Blake Knox went to Chick fil A for um, a chorus class. And so we get back and we go back to class, and everything's fine. And then the next day, and then, and then the next day, and then the next day, me and Andrew Manley get called out of class to Dr. Not me. Not Just Andrea. Them. It's just the two of us. And so when we're walking up there, Andrew and I are talking about, like, there's no way that she can give the valedictorian and the valedictorian and the SS because it's not just a reflect, reflect so poorly on our school, like, the all the courses and the tournament says we're skipping. But uh, we got up there and we got ISS. Long and story short. Long story short. I can skip and they can't. It's probably the pep rally where I had to wear a Halloween costume and do Thriller in front of the everyone who attended. And it was embarrassing. It was really bad. Okay, one time freshman year, I sprained my ankle during basketball and I had to wear crutches. And I was walking in through the main office and I like slipped on a kiwi with my crutches <laughs> and I like fell. I think. First time I came here, 
I hadn't paid attention to the boys and the girls restroom, so I had walked right into the guys restroom then saw somebody. Well, I was in the, the uh, gym my freshman, freshman year <laughs> playing four square and I guess, with all senior boys. Oh, oh the cute ones! ones. <laughs> and I um, got really competitive and was like, well, okay, I'll win this way. So I was about to be ace and they like gave me a hard shot and I like decided I would yeah. She lunged. <laughs> <laughs> and I put my pants from here to here. And she didn't tell anyone. And then she just ran away. And she's still there. And then we just hear a head and voices go, Hannah, Hannah. <laughs> Me and Hannah are like, oh, where's Laura? <laughs> and then she was like behind the quarter and she was like, help, like, we need to tell It was like, it hurt your head. And they were new jeans. Sure, your no one would help me, so I just sat there for an hour. Freshman year, I used to slide down the handrails in the school, <laughs> and one time, <laughs> on one time I fell over, and my backpack got caught in the rail. So I was literally stuck there, basically tied up on my backpack, right in front of Alyssa Westmoreland and uh, a bunch of the other hot soccer girls. Here. It was like soccer workouts, and we ran to the track, and everyone was like, yeah, man, let's just hop the track. And I was like, oh, I can do that. And so I go up there, and then I like <laughs> get half over, and my shoelace gets stuck, and then I fell backwards, and I broke the wrist. Having to sit in lockdown for two hours. <laughs> I fell, rolled down of the bleachers in front of all of National Honor Society on picture day. And I walked over the red road, and I completely tripped and face in front of everyone. The first day of freshman year, I thought, oh, we get to wear flip-flops to high school, and I fell three times. Did not wear flip-flops in high school. <laughs> Who was your awkward crush? Oh, Jacob Gentry. Jake, look. I really, I really saw him. The cute sophomore, I guess. The cute sophomore. They went to Stephen Mills. <laughs> My awkward crush would be Bailey Sparkman. Cole Walker. He's a really cute cowboy. <laughs> I have two. Uh, Kate Smith and Griffith Hawkins. Yes, I have a crush on Miss Martin. Leah? Cameron Hayes. Nathan Barnes. <laughs> Josie Hayes Lynn. Griffin Hawkins, Tyler Buck, Garrett Hawkins, Kathy Ligon. Would you? Claudia Bottoms, Buffalo Rio. Yeah, she's pretty smoking hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah Leo. Awkward. Hey, it's not really awkward, but he's like four years younger. Cowboy Cole. Yes. 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 Who is Will it? Will Arnett, Spay. <laughs> Joshua Sell. Will Arnett. I feel, I feel really uncomfortable because my brother's like friends with these people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't. Okay. <laughs> Justin, confession. My oh, no, I know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mine used to be Rachel Everly for about a month there, which oh, was no. weird. <laughs> it's not anymore though. I don't think I can. Sam Strickland. It's not even that awkward, but. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My name is Trevor Cross and Austin. Mine is Will Arnett. <laughs> Mine is Connor Bosch. <laughs> Mine's uh, Austin Walton. What's one thing you wish you knew as a freshman? Uh, to not get too caught up in school. You're going to want to look back and think that you like, enjoy it. Um, probably not to be afraid to meet everyone. You don't just say, Miss the time we drove all night. That I was gonna move here? Aw, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't wear cargo shorts every day. Oh, ever. Ever. Yeah, ever, yeah. Procrastination is terrible. As <laughs> Socks and Sperry's is not a good look. <laughs> Try in school. And that, like, the seniors aren't that much older than you, really. They're just yeah. like, I don't know, I felt like they were so much I would have known that everybody, like by the time you're a senior, everybody's going to get along and everybody's going to be friends, so there's no point in like being enemies with anybody, you, know, you should just be friends with everyone. So, I would say just try not to be perfect all the time, and try not to just do everything right, you know, make mistakes, making mistakes is okay. Um, Always try your best and uh, don't give up even though it's definitely in senior year, it's 
really that bad, but in the front of the student section and move back when people tell you to move back. Don't stand in the hallway. Just don't stand in the hallway. Um, probably that when you begin your freshman year, everything will change by the time of your end of your senior year. Don't even think it'll be the same. It will. It'll all change. The pool on the fourth floor is not real. I got locked up. Don't let people bother you because throughout your whole life, people are going to try to knock you down. It's a lot easier to skip class than you think. Like, I remember being a freshman and thinking, oh my god, how do you ever get out of the class? Just to have fun and just balance things. Make sure everything's in a balance. Like, put your school it. first, but enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that you won't always succeed, which sounds kind of sad, but like you're not always going to be the best, but that's okay. <laughs> Mine would probably be just, not to sound mean, but like, people aren't worried about you, not, like, not to say that you aren't important, but people are less concerned with you than you think they are. What's meant the most to you at CHS? Um, friends and basketball. Friends and Right. Being involved in Young Life is yeah. definitely an awesome yeah. thing. <laughs> Why y'all not? Okay. <laughs> I did. I'm like really important. Friends. Friends. Everybody. Do you guys have a favorite teacher? Probably softball. Third period. I've really enjoyed sports. Softball and making friends. Either hour lunches, you know, I gotta have those extra 30 minutes, or two, it's obvious, she's probably the biggest influence in my life, I want to be just like her, and she means a lot to me. What's meant the most to you at CHS? <laughs> um, definitely being able to cheer on the Cavaliers all four years. Um, what's meant the most to me is probably being a band and having Mr. Talbert as a teacher. Probably getting to spend four years with like, all my favorite people. Uh, yeah, the new friends I've made. Uh, I'm the fine arts department. I'm the class. Um, the basketball and cheer team. With Cindy Winchester, but <laughs> the friends I've made along the way. Uh, definitely being a part of the course and uh, theater program here. Well, the most me is the days we don't have practice. It's pretty nice. Off days. Off <laughs> hard. To me, probably just all the memories I've made with all my friends and getting to know new people that I didn't go to middle school with. Um, the friends that I've made, I've gotten really close friends. Um, and I've made like, a lot of memories through like sports. Um, snow day. Meet new people. <laughs> Watch how many girls. Yeah. New day is when people bring cookie cake. Uh, All the friends I've gotten here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also playing with us. Um, mine would be my friends, definitely, and young life. Just getting out. Yeah. Probably, uh, being involved in the course department. I think just how inclusive our senior class is, and, um, just getting to be a part of something that I want to do, and not just wanting to the status quo. Meeting Chris Being a part of young life, probably. Yeah, yeah, no, young life, it's probably. And being a part of your buddy, I love Okay, um, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Like, what do you want to be remembered for? In physics, definitely. Um, Tanner Cagle, Dr. Barron, I'm Professor Barron. Um, if you have any questions about the physics, please come and ask us. We'd love to share. Uh, but definitely in physics. I want to be remembered by my swankiness and the car. Don't forget. I think, I definitely think you to be nice to everyone. Um, be nice. I would have to say football because I've done it all four years and it's taught me leadership and how to be a hard worker and communication skills and how to help others and help myself. Um, probably being in test club because of the cause we're here for and how much people we've helped throughout the four years that we've done it. Probably football for me as well. Um, I've also done it all four years and 
People have told me that they have seen me grow and mature and um, just be a better person. I can I help people, I can talk to people better. It's just taught me a lot. Prom. The fine arts department. Okay, mine's really long. <laughs> you can go ahead. Um, what's been the best to me is like, I don't know, discovering who I am as a person, I suppose. Oh man, mine was just making new friends. <laughs> The peeps, cool friends, Keith Brown, and, uh, friends, friends, the sun. yeah, friendships probably. You know that made me love one of my characters. So I'd agree. It's very vital to have a lot of friendships during high school because they can help you throughout your time, and you can go with them. Once you leave middle school, it, you get separated from a lot of people, so you gotta restart. And it's really a strong friendship you need in high school. Friends. Yeah. I like Peach. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> My friends too. Sarah from Sweden. I really like her. Friends. What's meant the most to you while you've been here? Probably the amazing people I met, the great teachers uh, I had the opportunity to uh, talk to. And I think what meant to me most was probably the people and the teachers. Just to go. Speak oh. up. So say it again. Students and teachers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>